Hi Pisces, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your January 2018 reading. I'm going to start off with the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue and I'm just going to ask Spirit to please provide those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Pisces with clearly defined, a clearly defined word of prayer that we can close with when it comes to the end of the reading. January 2018. Thank you. Now, I'm not going to look at that card right now, but what I am going to do is I'm going to do a circle spread by using the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please provide clearly defined messages regarding those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Pisces with clearly defined messages uh, that have to do with career and finance and or any other spiritual guidance that Pisces needs to know for January 2018. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. So the card representing you guys here on Earth at this time in your path is a bit of a warning from spirit. There's obstacles and challenges ahead. And when there are obstacles and challenges in front of us, it is spirit's way of protecting us. They are always wanting to guide us in the path of peace, joy, contentment, happiness, love, prosperity, and great health. But we have freedom of choice. So sometimes we take the wrong path. And when we take the wrong path in the wrong direction, spirits tries to provide obstacles in order to get you to go in a different direction. Now, I'm going to combine the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland that I just used, and I'm going to add it to the Gateway to the Divine Tarot, Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Male or Female, 2018 of January. Thank you. All right, so, hmm. Spirit is kind of asking for you guys to use the Queen of Wands energies to be very, very clear about your goals, very clear about your achievements, about your direction that you are going in. Now, some of you may be trying to go in a new direction, but you're running into obstacles. Again, whether it's finances or love, it's if you're being blocked, there's a reason. Pray to spirit about it and you will receive the answers. Now, in your mental aspects position, we've got conflict and defeat. Some of you have come a really long way financially. You have manifested a great abundance of knowledge and experience. And now you're contemplating moving into a new direction, hoping to manifest something that is much more fulfilling because of what you have already learned. But for some reason, you have energies here in your thoughts position or your mental aspects position about conflict and defeat. Now, in your relationship sector, your heart chakra is very much lit up, but it's being lit up by someone who is greedy with their finances, who may be uh, shut off when it comes to their emotions or their feelings. If this is the case, then you're going to be connecting with someone and allowing them in your path who will never share their finances or their path with you. In your creative aspects position, where you've got the waiting game. I bet this has felt like a long time. When I see this card, it uh, shows me that this, the roots have taken and the tree's beginning to sprout. And slowly but surely, you're taking a step towards what could be these obstacles. Spirit is saying that the obstacles and challenges are what are blocking your fiery nature at this time to achieve a passionate new path. The waiting game is spirit's way of having you stop and contemplate before moving forward. Now in your actions position, it's about getting to the truth of a situation, especially if someone comes charging in quickly. You guys may need to be the one that creates 
these obstacles and challenges when someone comes in quickly in January. Now in your mental aspects position, there is movement forward and there are new decisions and choices to be made at some point in the next maybe four to five weeks because they fluctuate depending on where those elements lie in your chart and where you're at in your path. Know that there are many opportunities available to you with the aid of wands and spirit is trying to guide you in the right direction towards one particular wand. So in your emotions, some of you might be kind of confused about which is the right choice for me. Do I stay where I'm at? Do I plant new seeds? Do I move forward in a new direction? Waiting, thinking, trying to get to the truth. Somebody wanting to rush in and maybe it's you. It's like you guys are wanting to rush in and yet you are creating your own obstacles because you know that someone is not opening up when it comes to finances and even maybe their heart. And yet your heart is shining. I feel like it's a challenge for someone because you guys have come so far, you know better. And yet you have the energies of conflict and defeat because someone's not opening up. Now in your subconscious, we've got mental, as uh, mental conflict. So subconsciously, some of you are continually waiting for a message to come in. Financially, or maybe from someone who has fire in their chart. And you don't like the waiting. Some of you may be waiting in your actions position for a truth to come out from another fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo. Some of you may be waiting for this new, exciting, passionate path when it comes to love and a fire sign. So there are many choices, I feel, ahead of some of you Pisces in January and Spirit's trying to guide you towards the right one. In your mental aspects position, you've got the third eye chakra. This is trying to look for signs from Spirit and to find clarity in them. Look for signs from Spirit when it comes to a new path in finances and or a creative hobby, skill, or talent. Some of you are waiting to step in an exciting new financial path. And spirit is guiding you towards success. But there are some obstacles and challenges you guys are going to have to push through. Continue to set goals in January. Continue to try to get to the truth within maybe even yourself about a situation where someone is holding back. Now in your inner strengths position, you have the inner strengths to be able to deal with heartache and loss in January, Pisces, good. Because there may come a time where you have to make a difficult decision. And you will have the energies of, this, of uh, the heartache and loss to deal with making this decision and not letting your heartache get in the way. Because truth is lined up with these obstacles. Truth is lined up to either a fire sign or a person who is rushing in quickly and could be causing obstacles, heartache, and loss. So for some of you, this is like cutting something off before it gets too far or causes a problem. And that's why there's conflict subconsciously when it comes to these messages. If there's a job offer in January... Make sure you push for what you know you deserve because you know you've come far in that you can get beyond conflict and wait. Wait it out for the truth and what it is you truly deserve. Don't give up looking. There's many opportunities out there and Spirit will let you know. You'll feel when something is the right path for you financially. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move into love. 
Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Pisces with clearly defined messages regarding their love and romance energies for the month of January 2018. Thank you. These are the Romance Angel cards by Doreen Virtue, and the first card is Soulmate. So some of you Pisces are setting a lot of goals to achieve things, to get to the truth of a situation, and to observe obstacles and challenges that may get in the way. In your thoughts, there's conflict and defeat. There's, I know I can move forward. I know how far I've come. I know who I am and how to accomplish great things moving ahead. But yet I am still addicted to a person, place, or thing. Something that's earthbound. Something that does con uh, cause me conflict, energies of conflict and defeat. So Spirit's saying in your thoughts for January, try to remember to remain independent in your path. And not to become codependent on maybe even this hoping and trying to manifest a soulmate. That is a gift from spirit. And if you do what you need to do to work on your, on what's best for you in your life path, the soulmate will be made clear to you in January. Now, in your uh, relationship sector, your heart chakra is lit up. And yet you find that someone is closed off. And Spirit's saying it is a time in January to forgive others for they know not what they do. We all make the same mistakes. We just make them differently and at different times in our life path. So release and heal a person who may have inadvertently hurt you or maybe even made you think within and hurt yourself. Spirit's saying that once you release and heal and learn from why... You would give your heart to someone who's cut off emotionally. Then you can experience more love moving forward. Now in your creative aspects position, you are waiting for some passionate path to come in. Or deciding what is the right path that spirit's trying to bring in. And this is a process by which during you, the time you are waiting in the next maybe two, three weeks, it's a time to take back your thoughts, take back your mind, take back control of your life so you know exactly what you want and where you're going. Be creative about what really makes you passionate, what really truthfully fulfills you in your actions position. Getting to the truth of a matter with either someone who comes in quickly or yes, trying to figure out if that person is truly attracted to you. You will get to the truth of the situation, maybe in the next two weeks. In your emotional aspects position, you guys are excited about new choices, new directions, new decisions. Because I think some of you have just learned to know that love is all around us. We are in love every day, whether we're with someone or not. Love is the air we breathe, the plants and trees around us, the roof over our head, the food in our mouth. When we go and meet someone, we bring them into our family our love and we love them like we do our father brother sister mother aunt uncle grandparents friends neighbors people at the store so at some point in january you guys are going to understand or come to the realization whoever's energies i'm pulling for this free reading that you can just allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and spirit will bring to you the blessings that you deserve So subconsciously, there may be some mental conflict. Somebody's waiting for a message from someone, and this is what's holding you back. The time has come to clear your energy from your path. The energy of someone who needs to be let go of, who keeps getting you caught in this confliction in your mind. They're tied to what you may have thought was a soulmate but by whom there have been obstacles and challenges. 
This whole path in January is about forgiving and learning about ourselves and forgiving ourselves and freeing ourselves to just live day to day in a playful manner, knowing that spirit, we don't have to worry about being dependent on another soul. We need to get over the conflict and defeat of the past and move forward in a path that provides ourselves with some sort of passionate and exciting adventure. Very creative time. Free yourself through creativity in January. Now in your mental aspects position, listening to spirit, watching for signs when it comes to a creative project and or a new path in finances and career. In your day-to-day -day practical matters, spirit saying passion comes with playfulness, with handing your worries to spirit, with releasing old energies, with freeing yourself to get to some sort of truth within. You have the inner strengths of the heartache and loss and a difficult decision. So therefore, a difficult decision will be made at some point. You guys are going to see the truth in maybe three weeks or three months because spirit doesn't understand our human time. But I hear that I'm close. If not perfectly accurate. If I do say so myself. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So subconsciously, we have flirting. Again, it's about lighthearted energy. It's about playfulness. It's about flirting. It isn't about giving anything a title or making any major decisions in January. Now in a three card summary to my right for further clarification of the entire read, we've got the first week and a half to two weeks speaking of passion and excitement. And spirits saying you need to stand your ground. You need, you need to just flirt and be playful. But speak your truth. This is the transformation you guys are starting the year off with. Going from feeling sad, depressed, stuck in a dark mind frame and being reborn through your thoughts, through your observations and through your truth, like from a cocoon. Being reborn and using your new wings to fly in a new direction, to move on from that which was making you sad. Spirit says once you find balance in your life, what it is you like to do, what fulfills you, knowing that spirit will bring in who is meant to be in your path for you, that you can hand your worries to them and enjoy your destiny because that is what they're trying to bring your way. Some of you are going to realize that you are to remain exactly where you are and that there is actually joy there and you just didn't see it. There's actually passion there and you just didn't acknowledge it for whatever reason. In your hopes, uh, in your the next two to three weeks, there are new beginnings. And at the same time, there's emotional loss. Remember, our time is going to come again where you feel discontent and bored and spirit saying that's why you need to focus on a new creative and or exciting path ahead. That's why you need to put more energy into what fulfills you because you will receive recognition and reward for what truly fulfills you. Some of you want to go and start love somewhere, but there's fear there. Why? Because spirit's saying be careful what it is you are wishing for. You have learned a lot when it comes to wisdom. The wisdom of deception and envy. In the next four to six weeks, you have the energies of solitude in your outcome position, looking back at your life story. Who was I then? What did I learn? Who am I now? And now what is this next chapter going to be like with all of this knowledge and experience? Here comes your test. For some of you, not all of you, there may be a temptation that comes in. They may come right into your hometown or visit you, knock on the door, and then boom, want to go and drink and party and have fun. And that's okay. It's okay to remain playful. 
and to flirt. Now I do see there will be some sort of triumph and positive movement forward with someone in the next three to seven weeks. I see that there is great harmony in a connection or with a connection or even within yourself in January because you're finding victory and success in what truly fulfills you. Your soul purpose. And through patience and planning, you are going to be finding yourself climbing with the universe energies to a higher spiritual level. Some of you are going to find out that what you always wanted, what you were always passionate about, is what is not only going to bring you great uh, begin great prosperity for you but is going to grow into great material prosperity and spiritual prosperity because of the lesson that has learned the gift of figuring out whatever the situation is that you need to free yourself from is money so these karmic blessings will bring you great things moving forward if you make the right choices and these great things will show up in the form of financial blessings. Before I laid out my reading, I did a small Lenormand spread just to clarify my energies I was pulling. Somebody feels trapped to a situation by which really there is a lot of thought about money here. There is a great focus on financial prosperity someone here may also already be in a long-term commitment with their heart what happens is later on in the month through to the end of the month not everyone but some will be tempted by this cunning sly fox and it's going to be up to you guys to decide which path is the best one for you because we have freedom of choice we need to make the right decisions and choices and spirit will be guiding you. Towards the truth. Yep, so they're saying many new opportunities, many new offers, many new ideas. There could be moving, there could be new choices and decisions depending on which path you choose. In the meantime, just remain playful. For some of you, someone's going to come and connect with you and they're going to make you feel playful. They're going to make you feel like a different life would be much better. But the energy representing that person is the four of coins. So either you or this person isn't opening up. And the truth of the matter is, is this person's inability to open up is the obstacle that you need to get beyond. So it's lined up with mental conflict and releasing an X, releasing negative energy. The word of prayer that I pulled earlier for you is God. See if I can get it to focus. I step out of the way and surrender any need for control. In order to make room for God's healing love to flow through me and the situation. So put all of your worries and fears regarding a situation in the hands of God and have faith and hope that while you're busy doing something else, Everything will work out as it should in the most blessed and easy way. You've prayed for help and now it's time to allow heaven to assist you. God's love and wisdom have always been available to you provided that you're willing to trust his divine will. Release any unhealed components of your relationships with your creator to Mother Mary and the angels in favor of developing a closer and more trusting one. This may require tremendous faith on your part, especially if you can't see a solution to your present situation on the horizon. Whoops. 
This card indicates that you've been approaching the situation single-handedly, trying to anticipate and to control the outcome by yourself. Anxiety comes from distrust in divine order and timing, along with the disappointment that other people don't follow your plans. Surrender your need to be the script writer. This will help you to relax and to actually get better results. God has room to heal you and the situation when you allow for him to be in charge. So go about enjoying your wonderful life and finding out what hobbies and talents and skills and projects and, ho you know, whatever it is that truly fulfills you alone in your path and hand any of your worries, concerns about others to spirit for the month of January. Ask for only what it is you truly want and allow spirit to come in and guide you. How? Well, you can take a drive or a walk any day you so choose and ask spirit to prove themselves to you. Just like recently, my grandmother died about a week and a half ago, and I asked spirit to prove that she was with my grandfather by showing me a duck. Well, I live way, way up north, and the ducks have flown south. So I took a risk. I had faith that spirit would show me whatever I needed to see. And later on, sometime that afternoon or evening, I opened up my computer and there was a picture of a beautiful bay, just like my grandparents used to live on. And across that bay was about 50 ducks. And I have not seen that random wallpaper since. So from every moment that you get up in the morning until the evening, pay attention to the things you see here and maybe phone calls you get and why these things happened in this particular day. And you'll begin to be able to communicate with spirit on a continual basis and to walk your path here on earth in a much more peaceful way. So thank you again so much for coming by my channel. I hope to hear from you soon. If you'd like a personal read of your energies, you can email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. Enjoy January. Happy New Year. Take care and God bless.